Hey, what's up guys? Bonjour à tous, Badozai here. Welcome to episode 40 of my Let's Play Under the Snow. So, I've been busy these days. I came up with the design for the storage room. Uh, well, for the mob trap, the Uber mob trap that's gonna be here. I made uh, half of it. I'm gonna quickly build the rest of it in front of you and then we are gonna go to the filtering part, finally. So, ready? Bam! That's how it's gonna look. So, let's see how I made that. We have six different rows of chests. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, for the six different items we are gonna get, uh, I've got a quick list here, the gunpowder, the bone, the arrow, the zombie flesh and the dung will be in the same chest, doesn't bother me. The iron and all of the swords and armors will end up in this crucible. The string and the scroll into one of the chest, the same one. And the spider eye, and we are only left with the dragon orbs, and we are gonna store them over here. I didn't came up with the way I'm gonna do that yet. Um, my only concern so far is that the, the way to store XP hasn't been introduced in the mod yet, so I don't want to make something too complicated for the XP so far, because I want to wait and see what Flower Child will come up with. So in the meantime I'm just gonna use a, a lot of hoppers with soul sand and water going down like that and if it doesn't make uh, enough storage for XP then I'll try to add a second row and we'll see how we can split up the dragon orbs above. Um, the storage system in itself is relatively simple that's just my usual uh, hopper block hopper block with the chest below we've got the light block just there in between the two hoppers which will be a visual indication of the progress of the items inside to let me know how many chests are filled and at the end of the row we are gonna have a little drop here between the sidings and I'm gonna do something to put either fire, lava or a cactus. So that's how it's made inside as you can see for once I decided that I won't show the, the water stream above you barely can see it with the light block here and when they are gonna be turned on you won't see it at all so the water is behind the siding over here then we have our hoppers with the light block in between each of them the gearbox in the middle which goes to Power, uh, let's do this one. Power all of the hoppers from the side, like that. Same thing on the other side, obviously. I still haven't connected them yet. Uh, I need to connect this one to this one here, going a little bit downstairs. And I need to get some mechanical power from my water wheel above. Same thing on the other side. Um, nothing more to add that's really straightforward mm, the only cool thing I think is the look of the arc like that with the wood maybe once 1.3 will come out I'll change this line of stairs to some other kind of wood probably the dark one just to break the monotony of the wood from here to all above or I could uh, maybe switch those siding to stone sidings. Uh, I don't know. It looks a bit too much wood. Uh, I'd like some other block in the middle to change a little bit, but uh, we'll see that later. So far, I just needed to come up with well the the style of the room. Um, over here, that's. Well, the, sa the exact same thing, except that I uh, needed to make the hoppers go 
a bit further just for the sake of symmetry which is why this is two wide here and only one wide here and here but because my door is well too wide the crucibles are here for the swords the iron the armor uh, I'm gonna have to wire up some batches below that uh, and also I'm gonna think later about the cool way to incorporate this little stair over here which will allow me to go downstairs I've digged a little bit of the room so far and this is where I'm gonna place my uh, infernal library library with all the bookshelves and the I also ended up well in the corridor that goes back to my storage system which is perfect uh, it means that I will have an access from well the most important room in my mansion the storage room straight to the infernal enchanter and then back up to well the storage part of the mob trap and to get the XP and I'm gonna see how far I can dig down there maybe I'll end up making something uh, underground only keeping the hoppers here and uh, to get the XP doing something uh, well done there I think I have a little bit of room this is at this level so I have one two three four five six seven eight no seven seven blocks I can do something with around here we'll see that later mm, also while I was building this I had a few more surprises made a few more dogs too for the dunk farm I'm gonna make and found uh, a few more scrolls inside I'm gonna leave them inside here because um, well all of the hoppers are full and I don't want to well I'm fine with the excess of items burning for now. I've already got like three or four double chests of each kind of stuff so it's not a problem which makes us a total of two, eight, nine and twelve. So working pretty well so far. I'm not gonna complain about the rate. Uh, oh, hey there. Which one were you? Oh, two blast protection at one time. Well, that's cool. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, I'm not gonna complain about the the rate so far. Mm, I didn't even had to ask, well, to get them just by spending time around building. I've got like ten of each scroll, which means that it's more than enough to enchant my Soulforge steel tools. We'll see later. Oh, the system works with the infernal enchanter from what I've understood it requires a lot of XP so uh, I'll see how much we need but if it's too much I think I'm just probably gonna move back to mm, diamond tools because uh, mm, I don't know we'll see how long it takes but uh, I'm only level 44 right now and that's after killing probably 80 or almost a hundred villagers and they give a lot of XP so I don't know how much XP we are gonna get from here but 300 levels seems uh, a bit too much to get well I think it was when you were making five uh, enchantments on one tool so I don't need five we'll see how much it takes to get well something like efficiency 5 and breaking 5 mm, and potentially silk touch because I like them but yeah that's the tool I use the most one pickaxe with efficiency and unbreaking and one maddock with the same thing along with silk touch to get nom 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 to get the glass back when I'm building and to get stone when I'm digging rather than cobble which I never use except for making pistons.
Okay, enough talking. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna finish making the arc here and uh, well, I'll show you how I made that uh, in music. Enjoy! And here we go for the final look. I'm gonna end this episode here, I'll try to make my episode a bit shorter from now on. Hopefully it will help me to upload them more oftenly. And I'll get back with you for the next episode. Uh, I'll show you how I'm gonna make the filtering process and uh, many other stuff. Anyway, that's it for today, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon, bye bye!